okay. I see you. What a dooski, it's your boy Fayel34, aka Fayel McWhaley, and today, today, uh, we are here with Community, episode, season five, episode six, if I'm not mistaken. Troy has left the building. He has left the chat. F's in chat for Troy. So yeah, I mean, the past few episodes have been really uh, up and down for the show in terms of just emotions. It's been a real roller coaster ride. We've had the death of Pierce. We've had the return of the ass crack bandit, AKA, well, not, not actually Alex, but uh, Alex came back, which is cool. Uh, and just the series is kind of really shaking up a bit uh, with Pierce dying, Troy leaving, emotional send offs. Last episode, I was crying. Um, so. Uh, let's see how the show. I'm really interested to see how the show's gonna start to pivot now that you know some staple characters are gone. So how they're gonna sort of even out the dynamic moving forward. What kind of storylines we're gonna be going for? So, and, and honestly, Abed, I'm, I'm cons not cons I'm say concerned. I'm interested more or less how Abed's gonna be now without the second half, right? As always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it, y'all. Eat. Remember, math teacher Ben Chang. Damn. I, for one, am glad that this is happening. What this school needs is a band of heroes, champions. What the hell is Bloodlines of Conquest? It's a medieval fantasy series. Dragons? Is that a spoiler? I just started season one. It's supposed to be Game of Thrones. I don't start watching. Do we also have to pretend that Lord Stavarius is still alive? <gasps> oh. Thanks, Abed. How about I boil the whole series for you? That's insane. That's something an insane person would do. Knuckleheads, focus. Are you guys volunteering because you think I'll do all the work? I would no, know. not at all. I don't care enough to lie, so no. I will reward that honesty by giving you something easy. I'll give it a drive-by. Great. We have now. I love they actually made him a recurring character. I didn't think they were gonna do that. a productive meeting. A star goes on the task wall. Prince Ironstone's daughter is his mother. Barba, Garba, 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 Barba, Barba. That was gibberish. You're good. I wish I knew sign language. Are you gonna have another intense burst of compatibility with a girl we never see again? I can't hear you. <laughs> the Midterm awesome. dance will it's need a visual theme. Like, you guys are in charge of the dance. Oh, God. There you go. That should happen in three to six business months. You gotta talk to a custodian for that. We janitors. There's a difference? We was just starting to like you. <laughs> that enough? Oh, isn't that uh I'm sorry, sorry. this is a close function. We do not discuss business at custodial mixers. I think it's isn't it is it Kumal? You know, I you got a rip for the attorneys. Chief custodian Nick. Bob White, Buzz Hickey. I was literally about to make the joke of like every celebrity's had a cameo and is a part of Greendale, and then fucking Nathan Fillion pops up. That is hilarious. And Didn't uh I swear Abed just referenced Nathan Fillion like last episode yeah, or two episodes ago. It's election time. I don't break up the fancy sausages, my ass goes in a grinder next January. A lot of the websites we try and visit get blocked. They want their porn unblocked, and then they'll give you your board. That's what that was? Is that what a bulletin board is to you, Professor? A piece of cork? That's not what it is know. to people that lose their pets. I know a lady in the IT department. Yeah, he's the plug. She's gonna spoil it for him. Oh my god. Bear down for midterms. Is there a dot I'm not connecting? Uh uh. Ah, uh, it's a play on words. Bear down is. <laughs> Chang. Are, are you crying? I don't know if you guys even see me as human anymore. I don't know if to you, are all Asian men like a joke if it's like a no. racial thing? No, no. I paid and I, I, I do want to make a difference. Can you respect that? <laughs> Bear down for midterms. Okay, okay. okay well, uh, we'll <laughs> put up some bear things. For midterms. Okay. The lift <laughs> web restrictions solely horn blocker. What do you mean everything? Ah! Yeah. Poor blocker. What do you mean Understood. by everything? <laughs> Very happy right now. So just bears everywhere. Yep. If parking for the IT guy puts that board back where it belongs, I won't stand in the way. 
You think you could look into that before I do this for you? You want to control all the bulletin boards in the school. Why? My power comes from a scarcity of parking, just like your dad's comes from a lack of hugs. You know what takes my power away? Carpools. Let's get out of here. All right. Yeah, what? Had you I'll rebuttal? talk to the I... Too soon, you guys. Oh, what happened? This is way too soon. Too soon for what? Too soon for this. Some, someone got mauled? This. Bear breaks loose at a kid's birthday party, mauls a whole bunch of people. Why am I explaining this when this is... The news has been covering it all morning! <laughs> That's where I got the idea. We're in crisis mode now. Doesn't get nothing done. Yeah. And where should I put That's that boat? That's what I'm A sham piece of coal. I thought better of you, young lady. Oh man, this got sorkin -y. Fat dog it. Hang out, relax, like a fat dog. Yeah. Hey, you look it up on Wikipedia. It is, it this is not there. Streets Ahead. I have, uh, okay, I just... Just pick an idea and bear down on it. Um, really poor choice of words, Ben. Too soon. Sorry, I've had a really hard day. Fat dog, this concept. Fat dog. Right. Fat dog baby. Boy. <gasps> Thank you. Britta, that was evil. That is I'm sinister. Sorry, How dare you? I feel bad. You just I'm lost really Troy. Really, really Britta? Wait, no, come back. Oh, I feel so bad. Hey, Brie Larson! What happened to you? Whoa! Nothing. You never called. I'm sorry. I'd like to go to dinner. No. no. I can do that. I started this coat check without permission anyway. Okay. I see you. Damn, I actually didn't see that couple. Oh, there was a dance, but like... Feels good, don't it? And that was my reaction video to Community Season 5, Episode 6. And I gotta say, I actually thought, you know, first episode post-Troy. Uh, I actually thought this was a pretty good episode. Now, while this wasn't the most, maybe, out there storyline, it was rather tame. I sort of liked how we had it be almost hicky, Annie-centric. We got a lot of development from his character, which I thought was actually, well, you know, needed. Especially now that he's going to be serving more as a, I guess, regular staying cast member. So I liked all those elements with him. I actually thought this episode was pretty well written. Uh, you know, sneak it in some... I don't think there's any particular storyline that really kind of didn't run me the wrong way. Uh, nor did any of them really to be any absolute smashes here, but I all thought they were all in good taste. And I didn't feel like Chang was overboard. His whole joke with the bear dog actually was pretty funny, especially towards the end when they tried to do the whole fat dog. And yeah, I, uh, I actually did enjoy this episode. I thought it was pretty well written. Uh, the jokes, I like some of the on-the-nose jokes like Abed falling in love with a girl or whatever it is and never to see them again, only to have that happen. But it actually, you know, I think it was Rachel reappear again with Brie, you know, Brie Larson. Also, I thought the spoilery subplot was actually pretty funny and relatable. And especially for an episode that had, you know, some, a lot of surprisingly, you know, big cameos here. Not bad. Of necessarily big cameos at the time, but like you know, a decent amount of celebrities popping. We had affiliated with Kumal, we had Bree. Oh, it was still a pretty enjoyable episode. And I thought this was a pretty solid episode of Community, you know, in contrast to all the elements that have happened the past, you know, five episodes leading up to, you know, the old, I guess, community to put it in quotations, but not, not old per se, because you know. Dance back and the writing is, is sort of getting back to similar form, but now just a new we, we we've already established how things were, you know, with season five with Jeff being a teacher. So now we're starting to get a real feel of what the show's going to be like for for the remainder of it. Now that we've got Troy and uh, Pierce gone, I thought this was a good step in the right direction. We've got to, we, we're, we're developing the, the student teacher alliance or union now a little bit more, getting some more hickey development. I even thought having you know I thought the dean's role this episode too was nice. I thought he played it really well. He wasn't too over the top or ridiculous. Just very subtle and funny and his moments he had chang wasn't over the top and you know, maybe shirley jeff and 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 uh duncan could have had a little bit more but i mean for what they did this episode i thought it was fine and well i think this is a good step in the direction of where the show is really going to be now that things have sort of settled down and we can just i guess start fresh almost yeah that was community season five episode six guys what you think about this one i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below and abed and rachel they're out there chilling. They're watching some TV. Anyway, guys, that was Community Season 5, Episode 6. What'd you think about this one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. It's all entry into this new chapter, second half of the show, right? So with that being said, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.